Okay, so what we've got here is these weeping cherries. And that's the before, and here's an after. And if you think this arborist isn't an artiste, look how beautiful that work of art is. Thank you, Robert. So looking at this cherry, it was a complete mess. And uh, it looks pretty darn good now. Uh, it is still blocking the road and it's still blocking the sidewalk. But what can you do when, you, when they give you stuff like this? Should we do a little after video after we get done with this one too, Robert? It's the same thing, they're identical. <laughs> So now we're doing some during video. This tree is actually worse than the other one. A little bit. I wonder what our audience would think. Like, like say, say the people watching this video were actually here right now. Would would they be scratching their head? Oh, they would tell us exactly what we're doing wrong. They would say we should have a silky saw instead of a $40 saw. I like this new Corona. It's the Buckingham leg holster. Yes. Oh wait, don't, you can't say Buckingham and silky in in Corona in the same in the same video. Yeah, this is not a paid production. <laughs> I bet you the people watching the video would want to see a little bit closer up. You tell us, people. Hit like, subscribe, and comment. <laughs> Uh, there, there's, there's probably some people that haven't seen my my 700 YouTube videos and my 2,000 Facebook videos. So, let's see. What we could talk about the flowering. So yeah, this is uh, March 16th, 2023. And it was in the paper the other day that global warming is real. And there is a flower. So in a week, this thing is going to be all busted out big time. So. There's a lot of trash in there. And then these people, luckily the commuters have parked here. This is the second day in a row this car's been sitting here. Notice how we've had to load our trailer right around it. Looking at this pretty little gem. Something like that. Oh, oh, you wanted to see up close. Yes, that's what the visitors have been wanting to see. Who made this tree so complex? This thing is complex. It's a weeper. It looks like it's grafted up high. Let's just let's just leave it roll. Robert's gonna get dizzy. He's walking in circles. Yeah. <laughs> prune some, spin around, prune some more, spin around, and by the about the 33rd revolution, it should be done. Oh, and then later today. We've got an amazing thread cypress we are going to be pruning. Oh man, that baby is purdy. And you'll see it right here. Okay, we got some during action here. Getting some of these big inside branches. This tree's actually got two trunks. It's 
So when you're doing these, you got a Falco in one hand and a handsaw in the other. And that's it. It's all you need. Oh, I can see that, man. You know, if I wasn't holding this camera, I could get that pulse out and get that thing out of there for you. Okay, you see how that's done? You can't even tell that branch is gone. Let's go over where it just came from and take a look. Look at that. Undetectable. The arborist work has to be undetectable. I don't even see where it came from. Yeah. Let me get up high here for a sec. Does that tell you anything? Oh man, that was a good cut, Robert. I think that was the one. And this is the other one. And don't be afraid to you do UW knee surgery. Yeah. UW knee surgery is when they They really put a lot of pressure on that living tissue to get it to go into the alignment that they want. And that's why they put people out. That's why you use total anesthesia when those doctors work on you because they crank on your bod. Is anybody learning anything by watching this video? This tree is almost done. Yeah, so close. Are you seeing this, people? This is how you learn. A little mentorship, watching a master at work there, watching somebody that knows what he's after, watching somebody that has an imagination to know what the tree is going to look like after a particular branch is cut. I mean, since when does imagination have anything to do with tree surgery? Well, guess what? Your space relationships matter. Oh, look at the size of that branch. Oh, yeah, that was a good branch. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm out in the street looking over at it. I don't know that these pictures are really helpful. Maybe if I was on the ground looking up. There's a good view. Something like that. There we go. Now you can see what's going on. Okay, friends, you guys got to watch the tree doctor at work. Sorry I waited 50 years to be able to give you this kind of instructions. look any different than when we started imagine if you had to do this while you were climbing oh yeah so this is this is the kind of stuff. So this is basically a defective branch that was ruined by a blindfolded mutant with a machete. Oh wait, can I say that? No.
Actually, we had no idea what was under here. Yeah. I had a hunch there was a pretty nice tree in there somewhere. We're just hollowing it out now. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to put a wrap on this. Thanks to Robert Oxman for the pruning lesson.